Okay, on to the next one kupitia ulimwengu wa siasa inabidi tumzungumzie the people's president Raila Molo Dinga aka Baba of course kuna watu wawili watatu watakuwa wanajiuliza kwa sababu gani WJ anamuita the people's president bila shaka ni mtu ambaye tunaweza tukasema kwamba ni mpenzi wa watu yani ni, ni, ni mtu ambaye au ni miongoni mwa watu ambao wanapendwa sana na watu wengi that's the reason why uh, unakutaga watu wanamuita the people's president sasa mimi ni nani ni kose kumuita hivyo na watu wanampenda anyways kabla sija kuambia meeting yake ilikwaje kwa sababu amekutana na timu yake uh, kuna taarifa ambazo kidogo hazishangazi lakini zinashangaza <laughs> <laughs> Nimeshindwa kupata uh, wadi nyingine ya kutumia lakini zinashangaza lakini hazishangazi tena on the other side. Sasa iko hivi eh. Uh, news just in the speak of the National Assembly Honorable Moses Wetangu announces Kenya Kwanza the majority party uh, in the National Assembly with 179 members and Azimio coalition has 170 I mean 157 uh, members. He has cleared or declared Kiku MP Honorable Kimani Chumwa the majority leader in the National Assembly. And Honorable Owen Bias, the deputy majority, Honorable Sinvano Sosoro in the majority party whip, and Honorable Naomi Jill, leadership of the minority party. Honorable Pio Andai is the leader of the minority party, while Honorable Robert Mui is the leader or deputy leader of the major minority party. And then lastly, Honorable Junior Muhammad is the minority party whip, and Honorable San uh, Sabina Chege is the deputy minority whip. Uh, of course haishangazi sana uh, lakini kwa kawaida inashangaza na nadhani tumeanza kuzoea namna ambavyo wanafanya rulings zao of course tunajua hawampendi Raila Molodinga so kama hawampendi Raila Molodinga itabidi wachukie na timu yake Raila Amolo Odinga na hii inaenda straight kabisa kwa mtu ambaye anaitwa Moses Wetangula trust me hata yeye siku moja ataenda nyumbani na asipochunga hiyo ndo position ya, ya juu kabisa atakuwa amepata kwenye maisha yake kwa sababu ashapewa nafasi kwa ajili ya kutumikia hawa watu wote lakini yeye badala ya kutumikia hawa watu wote ambacho amefanya ni kurul kulingana na urafiki ambao upo kati yake na William Samoe Ruto of course hii ilikuwa ni kama test ya kwanza so ilikuwa vigumu kwake uh, kwa <laughs> kuamua kwamba hapa majority inabidi iende azimio namna ambavyo ilivyo kwa sababu ukiangalia vizuri ni azimio la umoja wana majority ukiangalia vizuri hata um, nani ile body inaitwaje ile party registrar kama sijakosea utakuwa unarekebisha party registrar ilisha sema kwamba watu ambao ni majority ni azimio kutokana na members zao na ukiangalia vizuri kuna watu ndio walitoka azimio waka wakanunuliwa wasijua walitoka au walinunuliwa upande huu mwingine wa Kenya Kwanza sijajua lakini tukiangalia walisign kwamba unajua hautakiwi kutoka labda baada ya miezi mitatu miezi mitatu haijaisha ina maana kwamba bado wako pale ki wino kabisa waliandikana sio kama unaelewa so motangula sio wetangula sio motangula kitu ambacho wamefanya ni kuangalia wajua acha nikwambie acha uh, <laughs> nikwambie ilivyokuwa ngumu hapa kwa kwa, kwa etangula ku, uh, ku kuweka hii kitu upande wa azimio <laughs> anajua vizuri kabisa yeye ni rafiki wa William Samoe Ruto afu anaogopa anaona William Samoe Ruto kampa nafasi kubwa sana unasikiliza uh, uh, najua ushai kusikilizaga akisema kwamba yeye ndo third in power na vitu kama hivyo so anajua vizuri kabisa William Samoe Ruto ni ndugu yake rafiki yake kashampa power fulani au nafasi fulani vya power kabisa pale bungeni. So ilikuwa vigumu kuwachapa wana Kenya Kwanza kwa sababu wana Kenya Kwanza si ndio timu yake William Samoe Ruto. So hawezi akachapa Kenya Kwanza akaona mm, achape azimio kwa sababu ndio watu ambao ndio maadui wao. So inavyokwenda sasa hivi uh, nadhani wamefanikiwa wa ku si ndo kudominate au ndo kufanya nini <laughs> ame, ame, amefanikiwa nadhani timu ya William Samoe Ruto ikiongozwa na uh, Moses Swetangula kwenye bunge wamefanikiwa kuchukua control au naweza kusema kwamba kupata access ya kila sehemu nchi yetu ya Kenya tulianza na judiciary uh, tukaenda bunge sijui uh, speaker uh, tukaenda senate speaker tukaenda majority kwenye bunge so kila kitu wako nayo sasa kwa sababu sisi tumekataliwa kabisa na I mean uh, wanaazimio wamekataliwa kupewa nafasi so inaonyesha kwamba wanacho kila kitu ambacho wanahitaji kuendesha inchi namna ambavyo wanataka wao 
yani bila mtu kusema kwamba brother hapo umefanya vibaya brother hapo umefanya vizuri so hii ni timu ambayo uwezo kurekebisha mtu kwa sababu ni rafiki yako unajua kwenye urafiki kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo uwezo kufanya ndio maana unakuta kama Moses Wetangula hajamwangusha kabisa nani uh, William Samoe Ruto through Kenya kwanza nice aina noma so nataka kuangalia watu wanasemaje um, na hata kabla sijaendelea kuna kitu ambacho amezungumza by the way Wetangula baada ya kufanya hivyo e, ikaa nimeshangaa kidogo <laughs> Wetangula anasema in the tradition of the house once the speaker makes a ruling such as the one I have made, it is not subjected to debate or it's not subject to debate. It is not appealable and it stands at it is. <laughs> as it is. I kama sio ku dictate sijui ni nini anajaribu kufanya kwa sababu yani sijajua mbona huaga wanaongea hivyo. Wewe mwenyewe ushajua vizuri kabisa ulichokifanya ni kibaya. After na baada ya kuifanya hivyo unaenda kuongea tena vibaya. Same thing na Kome, same thing, same class. Kome unakumbuka vizuri, hatu kuwa na shida na judgment. Sawa, uenda labda hatu kuwa na azimio hai kuwa na, na nini uh, inaituaje. Uh, Hawa kuwa na evidence ya kutosha, sawa. Lakini sasa hotel ilitokea wapi. Sikiu wild, sikiu nini hizo, sikiu zilitokea wapi hizo. Hizo zilikuwa za kuumiza mtu. Ndo walicho kifanya hapa wetangula. Asha fanya ruling ambao anajua kwamba ni mbaya. Afu bada kufanya hivo tena na tumia lugu. Sasa wetangula na dhani ya tabaki hapo milele. Trust me, hiyo ndo position ambayo ni kubwa wetangu latakuwa mepata kama ataendelea kufanya hivi. Mina kuambia, si anajaribu kufraisha William Samuel Ruto. Wacha endelea kufraisha, aina noma. So, ebu niangalie watu wanazungumziaje uh, kuhusu hiyo. Kuna mungina mesema with weta as the judge, it was highly expected. <laughs> Lakini, hivi tunatimbili nataka nikupe mfano mzuri sana tunatimbili uh, kwa mfano mimi wa Chelsea eh? of, of course wao utakuwa na labda Arsenal au Man City eh? kuna timbili kuna Chelsea alafu kuna Arsenal wamecheza wamecheza mm. afu wametoka draw lakini sema kuna mshindi amepatikana sema tu hakuna mtu wa kuamua tunaendaje kwa kocha wa Chelsea kuamua ataamua kitu gani Lakini hata kama tulikuwa tunasubiri afanye uamuzi, wa tulikuwa tuna expect kitu gani? Hizi ni timu mbili zimeenda draw tuseme au zinavurutana, afu tunatafuta mtu wa kuamua mshindi ni nani, afu naniambia tunaenda Chelsea tunatafuta kocha kuja amue mechi kati ya Chelsea na Arsenal. Of course atasema Chelsea kwa sababu ni kocha. Kuna vitu vingine, yani hata nashangaga ni kwa sababu gani inafu. Yani kuna vitu vingine bana. Hata waga na shindwa sana. Uh, kuna mungina nasema, he is the speaker of Kenya Kwanza Assembly and not National Assembly. Point of correction. Kuna mungina nasema, as you should mind their business and let the entire Ruto team to run the house. In fact, they should not participate if uh, nobody wants to obey the law, then what's the need? I think, I think ata, by the way, hakuna, hakuna ata haja ya bunge kwa sababu, um, na amini waifanye wanavotaka wao Wacha wapewe na fasi ya kufanya wanavotaka wao Kwa sababu tayari wana kila kitu E, hey, wana kila kitu So wafanya wanavotaka wao Hata sioni haja Kwa sababu wata kama ni kupitisha Watapitisha vitu ambavu wanataka Kwa sababu walisema kwamba inabidi wapitisha vitu flani flani Na watoe loz flani flani Kwa ajili ya manifesto ya William Samuel Ruto na Kenya Kwanza ku Kuenda mbele So at the end of the day Azimio la umoja watakue pale kama kusindikiza tu, yani wapo tu wakwele allowance na nini maisha endele. Lakini ukwele ni kwamba hakuna kitu chochote ambacho watachangia azimio la umoja. Hakuna, mi, trust me, nothing. Chani ya chane nao. Sasa the people's president bana mekutana na viongozi uh, wa azimio la umoja. Uh, Kwa ni lunch flan hivi ndogo na nini. Uh, kwanza kabisa na fraya kuwa na, na kuja pamoja, at least uh, hii hapa. Uh, inasaidia pia na mwananchi ambaye na amini uh, kabisa Raila Molodinga is the big boss uh, kuona wanafraia bado na vitu kama hivyo so uh, ye mwenye Raila Molodinga kupitia mtandao wake wa Facebook ame post kwa kusema kwamba we spent part of the afternoon with team Nairobi as part of our ongoing cons uh, consultative uh, sessions with various aligned groups service delivery and oversight by developed units remain a cornerstone of our agenda to the people of Kenya manisha kwamba uh, baba Kalonzo Musioka pamoja na Martha Karua bado na mipango uh, maalum kabisa kwa ajili ya kuhakikisha kwamba hata kama hawapo serikalini 
uh, kuna vitu vingine ambavyo vitakuwa vinaendelea lakini we hope kwa uh, kwamba uh, uh, mwaka 2027 vitu vitageuka kidogo kwa sababu sasa hivi mtu ambaye anaweza kumsaidia au uh, au uh, mtu ambaye anaweza kusaidia Raila Amolo Odinga matakarua pamoja na Kalonzo Musyoka ni mwananchi kwa sababu wajua wewe kama mwananchi ndio sasa hivi unaweza kumsaidia Raila Amolo Odinga kufika pale kwa sababu hawa watu iwapo hatakosa ku deliver of course haitakuwa rahisi ndio utakuja kugundua kuna kitu ambacho kitatokea uh, mwaka 2027 um, lakini unadhani ni kitu kipi ambacho walikuwa nazungumzia hapa kwa sababu leo hii uh, nadhani kitu ambacho uh, kilitokea bunge Moses Wetangu la kutaja kwamba au uh, kusema kwamba Kenya kwanza ndio wana majority na vitu kama hivyo nadhani pia wame discuss hiyo issue uh, lakini pia nahisi walikuwa na uh, subiri uh, kabisa kila kitu kikiende vizuri uh, positions bado waziweke wa sawa na nini kwa sababu so far hakuna kitu kingine ambacho tutasubiri au uh, tunasubiri kuona kutoka kwa Kenya kwanza is either wa perform au wa perform hivyo ndio vitu viwili ambavyo tunangojea kwa sababu kama ni CS washataja uh, pale kwenye bunge washakava vizuri speaker wako nao eh wa senate pamoja na wabunge yani wana kila kitu so i think kila kitu kimeisha na nadhani meeting hii hapa ilikuwa ni uh, ya kuangalia way forward what's next ni mbinu gani watatumia kujaribu kutengeneza bodi ambayo inasimamia maswala ya uchaguzi IBC uh, pamoja na judicial na vitu kama hivyo lakini nikimalizia uh, nataka nikwambie tu kitu kimoja kwamba ninavyozungumza sasa hivi chairman wa IBC tayari ameshapatikana. Yaani hiyo hata usijiulize au si hata hiyo hata usifikirie kitu chochote kwa sababu tayari wameshafanya namna ambavyo uh, wanataka wao. Lakini um, kitu kingine ni kwamba DPP Haji uh, anasema kwamba ile kesi ya Fedi na ndoa IT itabidi tu iendelee kwa sababu yeye uh, hawezi akafanya kazi akiogopa mtu fulani. <laughs> Eti kwamba sija na nini. Ile kesi ya milioni 1588 ile uh, DPP Haji anasema kwamba oya hii kesi itabidi inelee kwa sababu kuna issues nyingi ambazo zinabidi watu angalie na nimeona watu wamempongeza uh, wame sana uh, kwa kumwambia kwamba uh, Mr Haji don't be blackmail do your work without any fear Kiambu people deserve justice um, kuna mwingine anasema don't waste your time DPP the judiciary is already captured eh? enjoy your salary in the, the office <laughs> E, mungina kasema, this is Kenya, we want who is fooling who. Our courts have been compromised. No justice. Yani kila mtu, ah, kila mtu ana, analia. Anasema kwamba, hizi koti buwana, hizi ya zipo, atarudisha tute na atachiliwa. So, atafanyaje yupo kwenye serikali. Atafanyaje. Kuna kitu gani ya neza kafanya. Tazama juangu, ataniachia hapo, tukutani kwenye video mboi na kuja, lakini pia nita appreciate sana kama utani support. Uh, kwa njia hela pia of course uh, nambari yangu nimepina hapo kwenye semi ya comments aonezo uh, kani check dogo nitashukuru lakini pia kwa wewe ambao hauja subscribe na kukumbusha kwamba subscribe kwa ajili ya kuendelea kupata tarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati bye bye